Arab Tov Chavri, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live and got some very interesting news here that I wanted to bring up to you guys today. And uh, it's a very short news broadcast. I am actually in the process of editing a, uh, a slash news slash uh, more of a prophetic news segment on the news broadcast that I brought to you just the other day. And uh, so I'm, I'm really engrossed in that. And that's actually why I'm a few minutes late coming on here. I was so caught up in editing that that I had forgot what time it was. So uh, forgive me. I beg you to, to forgive me for that there. Uh, let me take you right, though, to this article here and share this with you. Uh, this is on TASS Russian News Agency. And this is what's really got me concerned here. Uh, is this article right here. Over 8,000 pieces of weaponry uh, to enter service in Russia's Western Military District. Okay, let's look at the article. It's not very long, uh, but it's very important here uh, because they're stating here, oh, let me get on my glasses. I can't see anything. Um, on August the 22nd, this came out, which was today, the troops of Russia's Western Military District will receive more than 8,000 newest pieces of weaponry and military equipment by the year end. Uh, now, guys, this is the seriousness. Look at what they're saying here. This weaponry is going to be received by year's end. 8,000 pieces of military hardware. That's a lot of military hardware. Uh, and it's going there to the West. Now, the West in Russia is the border of Europe. It's the, uh, the former uh, Soviet states there. This is right where NATO has been building up all of their troops. Russia has not as of yet, but uh, you know they have a little bit, but now Russia is really building up heavily. Now, if they're doing it by year's end, why is this happening? What's going on? As I mentioned to you a little while back, and I've yet to do this, but I am going to photograph the checkpoints that are being built in uh, on the border of the Czech Republic and Austria, just like it was back during the Soviet era. It's going to blow your mind away. It's the same thing that they're doing in Israel, internationalizing Jerusalem, building checkpoints there as well. Uh, I mean, this is absurd, people. Let, let me just share that with you guys. Give me one second here. I want to remind you of this again, because, you know, this is something that recently I... Um, uh, I'm having, I think my battery on my mouse is beginning to die because it's definitely not working very well. Uh, but anyway, um, the, the one thing that really concerned me here is that, um, is that uh, no one seems to be paying attention about these checkpoints here. Let me, I want to give this to you for your full screen here. Okay, now follow me here with, with this here. You can see the little yellow on the mouse there, I'm assuming. As I circle this right here, this is at the bottom of your page there in the picture, a little bit to the left there, where the concrete barrier comes down. This is a wire harness. May, you may not have as good of uh, imagery there yourself, but that is a wire harness coming out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight or seven to eight different uh, tubes coming out for being able to put wires through. It is clear that that's going to have some kind of little checkpoint attached to it. Uh, if you follow the column up, you notice there's some uh, spikes coming out as well. They're going to make more attachments onto the unit there. There's two arches here. You don't see this in the pictures, but there's two arches. Uh, as you can see here to the top left, uh, they've got it ready to extend over to the other part of the highway. So it's going to be a total of, looks like, four arches going across. Uh, definitely a checkpoint, come, not only coming in, but going out of Jerusalem as well. You're going to be watched all the way around. And I, 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 I'm just really sad to hear that. And then yet on, on top of that, there was a video that appeared today on... Uh, on the uh, uh, Israel National News, uh, they were showing a, uh, a, a, an Arab flag. I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment here. And, and there you can see this checkpoint as well. Just briefly though, finishing the article here though, it says the forces will get uh, Sukhoi, uh, the, uh, the SU-353's um, uh, NATO's reporting name Flanker E, 
super maneuverable uh, multi-role fighters, MI-28 in helicopters, Tornado G multiple rocket launchers, S-400 new generation anti-aircraft weapon system, Panzer S weapon system, and the T-72B3 uh, tanks. Um, Saturday marks the 151st anniversary since the establishment of the Western Military District. Now, this is nothing small, guys. The S-400 is a supersonic missile. And not only is it capable of knocking down uh, 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 bombs coming into the, to Russia, it also has the capability of using a supersonic weapons against NATO uh, forces. And NATO has nothing at, at, as of yet that can stop Russia's attack back. Uh, so this is definitely gearing up into a situation that is definitely, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. And uh, I, I really have a tremendous concern about the, the events that are going on. And uh, I, I want to just share with you, though, if I can pull this one article up again, Israel National News, they have so much advertisement on their website that it, it's very difficult um, uh, to be able to pull anything up without, without having to go through a million different things already. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, another thing here, now I did not even see this, guys. Let me share this with you real quick here. This slipped right through my fingers here. It says, will Pope's U.S. visit influence Iran's uh, deal's fate? Uh, let me get you to that real quick now. Let's take a peek at this together. And I know, I apologize, you guys cannot see the, uh, uh, you, you don't have the ability to see the, uh, the, the wording itself there. And I, I apologize for that, but no matter which way I've done thus far, I just don't seem to have the ability to, to get it the quality and then the internet still carry what I'm doing here for you. Uh, but anyway, it says, Pope Francis will address a joint session of Congress on September 24th, which we all know that. This is where he's setting up the New World Order agenda. A week after Congress votes uh, on a measure of disapproval regarding the nuclear deal with Iran and probably before a vote to override a presidential veto if one is required. While the visit was scheduled independently without the Iran vote in mind, uh, Francis' present, uh, presence may make the lobbying efforts of the forces opposed to the deal more difficult. Interesting. Pope Francis definitely doesn't want this deal being uh, sandbagged. It is not known if the Pope will say anything about the nuclear deal, but according to uh, Politico, he's not shy about his opinions, and odds are that he will discuss his support for the Iran deal. That, that just makes me sick to even hear that. And, uh, and odds are, okay, and the, uh, anti, uh, the antithesis of the speech Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made to Congress in March, which was aimed at galvanizing opposition to the deal. The Vatican said in July that the agreement reached by Iran and the P5 plus one powers on the Iranian nuclear program is viewed uh, uh, in, in a positive light by the Holy See. It constitutes an important outcome in the negotiations carried out so far, although continued efforts and commitment on the part of all involved will be necessary in order for it to bear fruit, the Vatican spokesman said. Uh, so I'll get this posted, this article here. I'll get this into um, Israel National News, excuse me, Israeli News Live for you on our Facebook page, just so you can check that out uh, for yourself. If you don't, if you, you don't, I don't think you have to be a member on our particular Facebook page there. It's just a matter of just type in Israeli News Live. Uh, you can go right there and you can see for yourself the things that we post there. Uh, the community is definitely growing there. We have, we're getting now upwards to 100,000 views a week uh, on the posts that we make there. Uh, so I do encourage you to go there and, and take a look at what's going on. It's always interesting uh, to say the least. This is where we post the articles as well. And uh, uh, as I said, very, very concerning the events that are going on, Russia to build up there. NATO, of course, NATO's already been building up their forces there. And uh, so everything all in all together, it is a serious, serious situation, friends. And, and I just can't begin to say how serious it is. There's one other thing though I want to share with you guys that I happened to come across uh, today by accident and, and doing some uh, research for the video here, putting together things for you guys. And I wanted to be able to show this to you. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to share this with you here, uh, at least the best that I can. 
Um, let me just see if I, I have no way to blow it up, but I'll just, let me, let me share the screen with you so you can see. It's very small on your screen. This is a quote by Albert Pike. Uh, Albert Pike was the Freemason. He wrote the Freemason book. Uh, I actually have a copy of this book there. Very much, uh, they were much behind the, the, the Vatican. Uh, they were for the building of the third temple, uh, but it's for the Pope of Rome, by the way. Uh, so my Jewish brethren that think that it's not, you think it's for yourself. It's not. It's not for you. Um, uh, this is why they're internationalizing Jerusalem, etc. Uh, but anyway, it says here, uh, the print small, so I'll read it to you. The third world war. This is what Albert Pike said. The third world war must be uh, 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 for, uh, fomented, excuse me, uh, I can't quite make out that word there, fomented, uh, by taking advantage of the differences caused by the uh, angiotur of the Illuminati. Between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world, the war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and the political Zionists mutually destroy each other. I mean, that's just... It, it, when you sit there and see what Pope Francis is doing, along with NATO and the Allies, who's his war machine, it's no wonder what Albert Pike had to say here. This is what they're doing. Now they're arming Iran. They're letting Russia do what they want, send Iran S-300 missile systems to protect themselves, giving Iran uh, fighter jets that are equivalent to that of the Israelis. You know, see, they don't want to too much give more power to Iran because they want Israel to be able to wipe out a lot of the Muslims as well. So it's a, it's a war, and sadly enough, the Arabic people are so duped into this. You guys don't seem to realize what's going on either, and, and, I, and I feel for you, but especially for those that are not for the violence that don't want to be a part of this in the first place. My heart goes out to you because your political leaders are puppets just like they've made... Uh, Netanyahu and the political leaders in Israel, a bunch of puppets. You know, one time Netanyahu stood very strong, and he's trying to stand strong now from what he is showing the outward appearance, but he is so much manipulated by Rome, it's not even funny. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom, good evening. I trust so you'll watch this message tonight. Uh, that It'll be coming out as well. I'll actually put it out before I post on YouTube this particular broadcast. Uh, it is a prophetic segment of the news, very powerful. It's over an hour long. It's about an hour and 17 minutes. And, uh, and I re-go back into the issue I spoke about the other day uh, about the prophecies that are being fulfilled all around Israel. The title of the message is The Two Witnesses Have Arrived. It'll shock you to hear what's said in this video. Shalom, good evening, and God bless you.